Now, it's got some of the best of Britain's musical talent. It's a showcase for local bands and those who've made it nationally. And it's a full weekend of entertainment. What's more, it's totally free. This is its second year of the Sheffield Tramline event. It's expecting over 70,000 people. And Danny Hewson has been finding out what's on the menu. Music fans were given a tantalising taster of what's in store this afternoon as the three big stages were carefully assembled. Now by this time tomorrow, this will be the best bit of turf in the house for the main stage anyway, but there are also a lot of unusual venues on offer, with every pub, club, cafe and restaurant that fancies it being turned into an impromptu concert venue. Each night before you go to bed, my baby. And with so many stages, local talent gets a chance to shine. Like many of the acts, Bromheads are back for a second year and they've even curated a rather unusual offering. They're providing a free bus uh, and they asked us to, uh, to organise bands that uh, can play on that bus. Um, so people obviously don't get bored on their trip round, so we'll, we'll be playing on that at some point. And with more than 50 places signed up across the city, the busker bus is an inspirational bit of scheduling, as is the bill. <laughs> 80s post-punk artists Echo and the Bunnymen sit comfortably side by side with electro band Lords of Flatbush. There's pop from Craig David and the whole thing's curated once again by Toddler T and organisers hope people will keep an open mind. One of the nice things that you can do on this weekend with it being free is you can just wander around and I know last year there was people who came kind of without a purpose or without a specific band in mind um, of any age group, you know, kids to kind of to older people and just walked around and caught stuff and, and have subsequently become fans of the music, so that, that's really nice. And if this festival's half as successful as last year's, it'll also be a great boost for this recession-weary city. Danny Hewson, BBC Look North, Sheffield. Thank you very much, Danny. So let's move from Europe's biggest free festival in Sheffield back to that biggest open-air theatre in Europe in Scarborough.